Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam, LAE, UPCAT, and MAT, and other things like that. Today we're going to talk about angles. Now I already made a video on uh, on angles, the types of angles, and ko ano pa na deal with finding yung complementary or supplementary angles. But this video is a little different because it's a combination of all of those concepts. This is something that you can sa exams kung saan hinahanap yung missing angle. And how do we apply yung mga theories na yan and yung mga theorems na, ng geometry on finding yung mga missing angles sa mga problems, alright? So this can be a little tricky but it's really fun to do. It's actually a bonus question pag uh, lumalabas sa exam. Kaya lang problema is inaral to way back in first year or second year high school kaya nakakalimutan na. So I'm going to explain that better but uh, switch over ako sa aking PC para mapakita ko sa inyo and I'll see you in a bit. Alright? Alright, today we're going to talk about missing angles. Pag-usapan natin yung parallel and perpendicular and intersecting lines. These are just review topics na sa inyong mga topics na pinag-aralan nung high school sa geometry. We're also going to talk about complementary, supplementary, and alternating angles. Now, um, if you haven't seen my lesson on complementary and supplementary angles, go ahead and watch that first. I'm going to cover that a little bit dito, pero yung mas intense na conversation about that is in my earlier video. Alright? So, go and watch that first. Hit pause muna dito, balikan nyo yun, and then balik kayo dito after you see, you see that video para mas ready kayo to understand the concept na ito. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, review lang muna tayo regarding complementary angles. Complementary angles are angles na pag pinagsama-sama mo sila or yung sum nila is equal to 90 degrees. Now, I mentioned this in my last video para madaling tandaan, complementary, lalagyan nyo lang siya ng isa pang linya na ganyan that is 90 degrees. Okay? Now, in this example right here, I'm going to solve it myself and then the next one, kayo naman. Sabi dito, yung angle na MKL, so um, angle MKL or L L L LKM or angle K is 37 degrees. So, kung 37 degrees siya, Okay, ano daw itong angle na ito? Now, kung 37 degrees siya at ang complementary angle uh, na ito, kung right angle yung kanyang sum, 90 degrees, para makuha natin yung angle uh, JKM, ang kailangan natin gawin is ibawas yung 37 sa 90 degrees. So, 90 degrees minus 37, that is going to give you 53 degrees. So, the answer is 53 degrees. Ito ay 53 degrees. Degrees. Okay, again, kasi ang complementary angle is 90 degrees. Now, why am I pointing out yung tawag dun sa angles? Kasi sometimes sa questions, hindi naka-drawing. Ang nakalagay lang is, kunyari, angles JKM and MKL are complementary angles. If angle JKM is equal to 53 degrees, what is angle MKL? Yung mga ganong klaseng tanong. So, you have to be familiar with the terms as well, right? So, I'm going to switch over yung aking slide right here. This is your turn, so hit pause now. Alright, so complementary angle sa pinag-uusapan natin. Again, 90 degrees ang sum nila. Itong angle na TRS ay equal sa 15 degrees. Ang hinahanap itong QRT. Okay. Yung QRT ngayon is going to be 90 degrees minus 15 degrees, which is going to give you 75 degrees. So the answer is 75 degrees. I hope you got that right. Okay. Now, this is the most basic part. The next one. Supplementary angles, again, medyo basic pa ito. Ang titignan ninyo is the letter S. Okay, so ang letter S, pag nilagyan mo lang yan ng isang ganyan, 8 na yan. Kasi ang supplementary angles, 180 degrees. Okay, so doble siya nung complementary angles. Pag ang guhit ay straight, okay, ang kanyang, uh, ang, ang kanyang angle is 180 degrees. Pag straight, yung line. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Pag pinagsama natin ngayon yung angles OMN and yung nawawalang angle which is angle LMO, okay? Pag pinagsama mo yan, 180 degrees siya. So, para makuha natin si LMO, kailangan natin gawin is ibawas natin yung 48 degrees kay 180. So, 180 minus 48, that is going to give you 132 degrees. So, 132 degrees, dapat ito. Okay? And ang clue mo dyan is the fact na straight itong line na ito, which means they are supplementary angles. That's very important to note. Na pag diretso, 180. Okay? 
Now, the next thing that we're going to do is to practice here. This is your turn. Let's pause now. All right, let's see how you did, okay? 58 degrees daw ang angle uh, MNP. Siya ay 58 degrees. Ang namawala is si angle PNO. So, siya ang namawala. At para makuha natin siya, ibabawas natin yung 58 degrees sa so 180 degrees. So, the answer here is 122 degrees. Ngayon, saan nakinuha yun? Again, subtraction lang yan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, this is 122 degrees. So, I hope you got that right. Okay? So, again, complementary 90 degrees, supplementary 180 degrees. Now, bakit siya importante na i-review? Kasi, ano kung ganito ang itsura niya? Now, one thing that you have to understand is pag parallel ang lines, ang tawag doon ay ganito ang itsura niya. Ito, tinatawag naman itong perpendicular. Okay? Perpendicular lines. Okay? Ang perpendicular lines are basically lines na nag intersect like that, at yung angle na na-perform niya ay 90 degrees. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung angle B, okay, pangalan na dito na A. Angle, angle BAG is 90 degrees, which means na itong angle na ito, BAN, is also 90 degrees. Ngayon, paano natin nalaman yun? Kasi, okay, nakikita natin diretso yung line na NG. NG is a straight line, okay? So, ano ibig sabihin nun? 180 degrees itong buong ito. At dahil 90 yon, 180 minus 90 is 90. 90 rin ito. Which means, 90 rin ito. Ito rin ay 90 degrees. Ngayon, paano natin yun alaman? Again, kasi diretso yung line din na U at B. Ngayon, this is uh, parang, again, foundational to do sa mga susunod pa na slides, okay? Pag sinabi na uh, two, per two perpendicular lines form angles, okay? Uh, what are the degrees ng angles na na-form niya? The answer is 90 degrees. Pag perpendicular, automatic, 90-90 ang mga yan. Okay? So, hindi lang siya basta nag-intersect, they are perpendicular lines. Pag sinabi namang parallel lines, okay, wala tayo pang alam tungkol dyan, maliban sa ganyan ang itsura niya, but it will come back later sa atin ito, dahil because of the intersecting line. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now, angles in intersecting lines. Ano ibig, dito muna tayo sa topic na ito. Nakita natin itong line na ito, it intersects ito, pero intersects basically, ibig sabihin nun, ay tinatawid siya or kinocross siya nitong isang line na ito. But hindi siya perpendicular. Ibig sabihin nun, hindi 90 degrees automatic yung lahat ng angles. Ang binigay lang is this. Now, Bakit ko dinidiscuss to? Lumalabas kasi sa exam minsan yung may bibigay lang na isang angle tapos ang hinahanap isang angle na nasa malayo or nandito sa across. Now, how do you find out kung anong uh, equivalent ng angle na yon? Now, the rules regarding intersecting lines at sa angles niya ay tapat dapat. This rule is something I uh, teach all the time when it comes to ratio and other topics, no? But it also applies here. Tapat dapat. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung sino ang katapat niya, kapareho niya ng Angle. So, kung itong angle 1 is 47 degrees, yung katapat niya, which is itong angle 3, is also automatically 47 degrees. Okay. Ngayon, paano natin malalaman yung angle 2? E di basically, gagamitin natin yung rule ng supplementary angles. Sabi natin, pag supplementary ang angles, ang sum nila ay 180 degrees. So, kung ito ay 47, ibabawas lang natin yung 47 dito para makuha natin yung angle 2. That is going to give us 133 degrees. So, ibig sabihin nun, ito, that is 133 degrees. Now, itong angle 4 ngayon is also automatically 133 degrees. Bakit? Kasi across siya or katapat siya ng 133 na ito. So, that way, mas mabilis nyo siyang mabubuo kesa isubtract nyo na naman sa 180 ito. Again, tapat, dapat. Kung ano yung katapat niya, if two intersecting lines ang, ang pinag-uusapan, yung across sa kanya, yun ang kanyang kapareho ng measurement. Okay? Alright. Um, now, it's your turn. Let's see if you can get this right. Solve this muna. Okay, did you hit pause? I hope you did. Okay, ngayon, i-check natin if you got the correct answer. Okay? So, again, 123 degrees naman itong angle 1. So, ibig sabihin yung katapat niya, which is angle 3, is 123 degrees din. Now, to find out kung ano yung angles 2 and 4, kahit isa lang ang isolve natin, 180 degrees minus yung 123, which is angle 3, dalabas ngayon yung angle 2. So, ang sagot is 57 degrees. 
So, kung 57 degrees yan, angle 4 naman is also 57 degrees. Okay? So, I hope you got that right. Now, alternating angles na yung pag-uusapan natin. Alternate angles. Anong pag sinabing alternate angles, ibig sabihin, they belong to the, dun sa isang same line. Okay? Along the same line sila, pero katapat, katawid. Okay? Ano naman ang rule regarding that? Let me show you. Okay? Kung 65 degrees ito, okay, by rule ng uh, supplementary angles, dahil ito ay 180 degrees, angle 2 becomes 180 minus 65. So that is going to give you 115. Okay? So 115 degrees yung angle 2. 65 yung angle 1. Now, uh, pag sinabi natin parallel lines, ang dalawang lines, at ini-intersect na isang line, and if you see here, the symbol right here, yung arrowhead na yan, ibig sabihin nun, parallel lines ito at ito. Kung parallel lines sila at isang, isang line lang ang nag intersect sa kanila, ang ibig sabihin nun, the angles na nasa same side nung intersecting lines, eh, nung parallel lines, are the same. Ang ibig sabihin nun, kung 65 ito, 65 din, ito. Okay? Ngayon, anong ibig sabihin nun? Kung 115 ito, 115 din yon. And it makes sense, right? Kasi nga, eh sila eh pareho din naman supplementary angle sila. Ngayon, kung 115 ngayon yan, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ito, okay, is uh, going to be 65 kasi na, ano, supplementary din sila. So this is 65 degrees. And this right here is 115 Degrees. Ngayon, anong ibig sabihin nun? Kapag dalawa parallel lines, in-intersect na isang line, yung alternate angles or yung katapat niya sa loob, okay, ay magiging supplementary angle niya. 65, 115. 65, 115. Okay? So, same rin dito. Pag along the same line, this is also going to be 65 degrees. Bumabalik lang. This is going to be 115 degrees. Okay? So, again, that rule applies kung pareho silang parallel Kung silang dalawa ay parallel lines. Pag intersect sila na nag-iisang light, tapat-tapat lang din sila. Okay? Ngayon, tingnan natin itong next example. Okay? It's your turn. I'm going to ask you to find out kung ano, ano ang value ng angles 1, 2, 3. Alright, let's see how you did. Ngayon, again, ang sabi natin, kung ano ito should be yung supplementary angle nito. So, ang 180 minus 109 is going to give you 71. So, ibig sabihin nun, ito ay 71 degrees. Ngayon, kung 71 degrees yon, this has to be 109 degrees. This has to be, okay, this is going to give you 71 degrees then, Okay. And kung, hinahan, kung titinan natin, pareho yung tawid, pareho yung tawid, pareho yung magkatabi. So dito, magi, ito, this is also 71, this is also 109. Kahit buuin mo yan, hindi masyadong malaking problema kasi alam mo na yung rules. Hindi mo kailangan magpaulit-ulit ng subtraction. Okay? So I hope you got that. The next uh, video is going to be about shape kasi there are times na um, lines can form shapes. I'll give you an example. Paano kung ganito? Okay? That's a line. That's a line. Merong, nag, merong line na here, tapos may line na nandito which forms a triangle. Ano ngayon ang way para malaman kung ano ang angle na ito, kung ang binigay lang ay sabihin natin ay ito. Okay? I'm going to talk about that on the next topic so make sure that you're subscribed. Okay? Okay, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo kung mag-exam din sila. And as always, you can go to my page, www.pacebook.com slash teamlaika to find out how you can get yung mga reviewers that I make and also to see the schedule of review events na paparating for your next exam. You can also go there to reach out to me directly, ask questions or make requests. I make by request videos in which I try to answer all the questions that you send in. So if you have any questions like that, comment below or send me send a message doon sa aking Facebook page, alright? And uh, as always, if you are not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, go and go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure that you hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo as soon as new video posts. I try to make at least one video lesson every week. So make sure na naka-hit kayo ng bell icon para wala kayong ma-miss. Alright? Thank you guys for watching. Aja-aja kayo ngayon. God bless you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.